your personal goals, hopes, and expectations as you went to the Staten Island Yankee season? Um, definitely one goal I have is, is just improve, uh, gain confidence. This is going to be my first uh, season professionally. So just getting to know the guys, getting to know what, a, what it's like to be a professional on and off the field, it's definitely one of my goals for this year. Walk us through when you first heard that you got the call to play for the Staten Island Yankees. You've been working for this moment your whole life. Walk us through when you finally got that phone call. Well, I, I grew up a Yankee fan. I grew up about half hour from here. So getting, to, getting drafted by the Yankees, getting to play for them, it's definitely a dream come true. Um, it's just, it's been unreal the last couple of days. Um, you know, getting to know the Yankees organization, it's, it's, it's really first class all the way. Have you had a chance to talk about to anybody here about what it's like to play here in Staten Island or have you had a chance during your travels to come out here and catch a game or anything or have you had a chance to see what this experience is going to be like for you? I haven't been to a game here but I heard the fans are great. I heard it's a great, a great environment. Um, heard the atmosphere is great. Um, definitely, definitely excited to start, you know. Um, excited to get my career going but I got to take it one day at a time. You know, can't get too excited. As a catcher, um, two things that you need to do is obviously catch and hit. What are some of the things that you had a chance to work on during the course of the offseason in terms of either framing or hitting? What were some of the things that you were working on? Um, definitely receiving behind the plate, you know, getting to know the new pitchers, getting to know the new staff. Um, Hitting-wise, definitely letting the ball get deep, you know, relaxing, um, taking it one pitch at a time. Um, making sure that as a catcher, you're part of, you're a leader on the field and also off the field. So making sure um, everything's going well, um, taking charge out on the field. So it's it's all different aspects of being a catcher. So with this being your first year with the organization, how do you balance being sort of a newer guy but also being a leader at the exact same time? It's definitely difficult um, coming into a new team, but having to play a leadership role on the field. But I feel like I've had some experience doing that. I've had to transfer schools a couple times. So um, entering new teams, I've definitely learned to you know, take it slow, where I do have to start learning everybody's tendencies before I start really leading them. So I'll definitely have to take a couple, a couple games to get to know everybody and then start slowly becoming a leader. I guess one of the good things too is that you have some great coaches here in Staten Island as well. Mm -hmm. So how much of their experience are you going to try to pick your, pick their minds and learn from them? And well, they definitely have a lot of experience between all of them. They're great coaches, great people, and I can only hope to, to learn as much as, as they can get me. Um, I can't wait to learn everything I can from them. They're, they're great coaches. Um, just from the couple days I've been with them, um, I can definitely tell I'm going to improve a lot, and I'm, I'm really excited to learn. Being from New Jersey, just how special is this for you to be able to play close to home, mm -hmm. play for a team that you grew up watching? How special is this whole thing for you? It's it's pretty unbelievable. Um, to play for the Yankees is one thing, but just to be just to be drafted by the team I followed since I was two, it's it's pretty unbelievable. So it it feels great. Did you have any inkling of a clue that the Yankees would be calling, or was it a complete shock for you? I knew there was a couple teams who were interested in me. But I got a call from the Yankees on, on draft day, and uh, I knew they were a possibility, and then I heard my name called, and it was just uh, elation from my whole family. Uh, who were some of your influences, in addition to your family, that helped shape you into the man that we see standing here today? Um, definitely a combination of all my coaches. Um, my high school coach, Chris Roof at Governor Livingston, was a great coach, definitely, definitely helped me get to the next level. And then um, my uh, college coach at North Florida, uh, Smoke Laval, he um, coached at LSU, he's a national champion. Um, he definitely helped me with a lot of things, both on the field and off the field, how to carry myself, the right way to mentally approach the game, and um, definitely a combination of coaches and my parents always keep me on the right path and, and doing the right thing. Uh, what are some of the things that you think that you could bring to this 2016 edition of the Staten Island Yankees? I definitely like to think I'm very consistent. So I'm never too high, too low. Um, definitely try and compete every single day. Um, no matter how, how good or bad I feel, always trying to compete, work hard every single day, day in, day out, take it one, one pitch at a time, one inning at a time, one game at a time. Is there like a um, little known fact about you or fun fact about you that people may want to hear? Like, are you a video gamer, golfer? Is there something that's really fun about you that people may not know about? Um, I'm a big hockey fan. Nice. I'm a big, big New York Rangers fan. So. Uh, uh, I'll, I know they got eliminated this uh, 
this year, but I couldn't be happier for Carl Hagelin. You know, he won he won his first Stanley Cup, so I'm happy for him. So I guess you follow that whole Stanley yeah. Cup. Were you surprised by how Pittsburgh won it, or you know, what were you um, thinking with that? Season? Definitely the, with the the way their season started out, I was a little surprised because they started off pretty low, but then they made a couple changes, and uh, then they just took off, and they really had an unbelievable run in the playoffs and in, and in the Stanley Cup. Do you watch any other team, or is it just straight up the Rangers? Um. In hockey, I'll watch the Rangers. Baseball, obviously, it's the Yankees. And uh, football, it's um, it's the Giants. But since I've been in Florida, I've watched the Jaguars a lot because I don't get the Giants games. <laughs> what was that like, that whole Florida experience for you? Because I'm sure that's very different from New York. What was mm -hmm. that experience like for you? Well, I can tell um, the athletics are very, very, very competitive. Um, they put a lot into their athletics, whether it's baseball, football, basketball. Um, they definitely pay attention to athletics. But... Um, it's a very big football. Yeah, football, one, football. South, they can right? play year round, so I mean they get a lot of a lot more experience, a lot more playing time, a lot more field time. So. But that's something that was helpful for you that you found that you were able to play more mm -hmm. down in Florida. Definitely, um, it, during the fall in college, it's it's all practice inter squads, and by the end of the fall, when I was up north, it, it was almost impossible to play. It was freezing. It was either raining or snowing, so it was tough. But in Florida, it's 70 degrees. At, the, at its coldest, so you're playing. You're on a field year round, so it's you, there's no no substitute for field experience. Now, say if we were living in an alternate universe and we weren't, you weren't playing baseball. Is there something else that you would want to do, or is just baseball what you wanted to do? Um, I've always been a big hockey fan, but um, in school I studied criminal justice. So um, if I wasn't playing baseball, I'd definitely be doing something in, in that field. So do you think if you had that opportunity to play hockey for a day, like say for a charity game or something, or just for like a celebrity, once you, once you make it big time for a celebrity uh, game? If I might I might make a fool of myself on skates, but but yeah, I'd be, I'd be okay to do that. And uh, lastly, what I always like to do is give you the opportunity to get the fans at home a message to get them to come on out. So please feel free to do so now. Um, just to everybody back home, I couldn't have done it without you. So uh, if you can come out and see a game here or there, so be a... Uh, be real great if I could see you here.